definitely going to be very surprised. Somebody they never thought would set foot in the studio is coming to visit us. I hope the mystery guest is a beautiful woman. I hope it's a guy. Can you smell? I think it's a guy. No smell, boss. It's a guy, man. Has somebody walked in yet? I'll use my tremendous nose. You're sniffing and my. Let me see. Mmm, I smell some perfume. Is there someone there? Maybe it's my hair. Uh, no smell yeah. at all. Is it Ralph? I don't, I don't hear anything. Well, you haven't asked a question yet. Oh. oh. And Robin, all right, well, Gary, do you want us to give us any kind of a clue on Robin, the mystery guest? this is so great. I can't wait to watch this on TV tonight. Robin's mask is on backwards. She's really? got it inside I can't out. Help it. She does that on purpose. She's a wizard. <laughs> no clues. Just start like you always do. That's Gary. No clues? All right, Robin, I'll allow you to start. Oh, geez, you want to try to guess it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right, mystery guest, welcome. Hi. Won't say oh, That's a guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, All right wait, it doesn't you... matter if I look good or not now. Are you famous uh, for your participation in the music industry? No. Oh. Why are you whispering? You That's must have a really no. well-known voice. Uh, well, mystery guest, are you known for the field of acting? Wow. Well, then we are fellow actors. I was working on my own film this and weekend. And he has a very recognizable voice. Yes. That was um, Howard. You get another. Do question? you have a new film out? Yeah. See, I knew that. Right, why else would out. Why else would such a big star come in? <gasps> okay. Uh, is the film uh, considered an action adventure film? Yes. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh. Action adventure? Is it out now? Oh, it's well, not my It's job. not your turn, my darling. <laughs> Don't ask my question. Okay. It is coming out uh, this week, am I correct? Ah, oh. you got to know. All right, I already know who it is, but go ahead, Robin. You do? Yes, back to Robin. Go ahead, Robin. All Corbett. right, so it's already out. Yes. Is it Keanu Reeves? Yes. No, no, no. No, no. no. Oh, darn. Shh. <laughs> you got to know. I got to know. It's your turn. Let's see, now hold on a second. You thought it was two, didn't you? We are the worst at this. <laughs> Action adventure. It's out already. All right, Fred, take a stab. Go ahead. Did you work in television before this film? Yes. Were you married to someone famous? Yeah. Tom Arnold. <laughs> Tom Arnold? Are you oh, whoa! Ah! Oh. <laughs> hey, we said whoever came in first, Roseanne or Tom, we have to side with that person. You got us. We're on your hey. side. Hey. Thanks. How you doing, Tom? Good, buddy. How you doing? Wow, this is a, wait, let me just soak you in. Yeah, really. Let me just soak you in. I would never <laughs> I have guessed what... that in a million years. <laughs> oh, man. Well, Tom, you've done it. Gary, erase all the old tapes of everything I said about Tom. Quickly. <laughs> but you, I'm sitting here thinking action adventure. I said, Arnold's already been here. Yeah. There's no way it's anybody from True Lies. I thought it was Keanu Reeves. I did, too. Fred, how did you know? You must have seen Tom out in the I hall. I just had a vibe. Gary was, like, acting like, and I'm saying, who would we really want on this show? Gary was real excited about who the mystery guest was, so I was sitting there thinking, I said, well, maybe it's Tom Arnold, because he did say on TV he would come in and do the show. Yeah, yeah. And then I said, well, it's not Tom Arnold. He wouldn't come in and really do the show. He was just probably saying he would do the show. That's no. what I would have done. No. Tom, no. this has got Rosie to be... Rosie banning you all these years? Yeah, Rosie was banning you, right? Uh, no. It was Rosie who was against us. I knew it. Oh. You wanted to come on the show, and Rosie oh. was banning you. Yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's what happened. I brought you guys some... Arnold brought you guys T-shirts, right? Uh -huh. Yes. I brought you some better than that really cool sweatshirt for everybody. Oh, that is that right? Really cool one from the movie. Tom, I don't even know where to begin this interview. Uh, only to say not. this, that it... It really, it takes a big man to come in here and see, all, sit down with us. <laughs> yeah. I saw in the paper this yeah. past weekend as I was reading something, uh, people were talking about the Lisa Marie, Michael Jackson marriage yes. to Tom. And uh, according to this reporter, Tom said, talk about, you know, you want to talk about bizarre marriages. Look who I was married to. That's right. Oh. Who I was married I, to. Is that I what you said, really? No, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, you know, I saw an article in the paper that said, the, you know, they were talking about bizarre marriages, and they said, you know, Lisa Marie, my, they said the most bizarre marriage they would like to see is Howard Stern and Roseanne That would be Arnold. great. I they think that would be great. Did you see that article? Yeah, I, yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Did they work out well together? I think it would be great. I think, uh, you know, Tom, let's face it. This has got to be 
the biggest slap in Roseanne's face. You really are ready for divorce. This is. Well, now, this, this, is this could there, be. It's... I don't know about all the other allegations, but this could be considered assault, don't you think? Yeah. No, actually, Tom, this this will be most shocking to Roseanne because Roseanne hates me, right? I don't know that. I don't know if she hates you. No, I, I but, don't. Tom, she has said nice things about you. She says you, she thinks you were yeah, somewhat very talented. Fun. And you said nice things about her. You I said, did. So I guess she, so. So you guys like each other in, a, mean, in a bizarre way. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 a love hate mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Right, Tom. This is so uh, good for you because now you have a hit movie, mm -hmm. and you are actually you have actually signed to do other movies. Yeah. So now, in fact, I was watching on Larry King, and then some woman came on and said, I'm trying to get Tom Arnold for my movie. Wow. So uh, the point is, you don't need Roseanne anymore. Well, it's, 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 True Lies has certainly been a great opportunity for me to have a career. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Couldn't come at a better time, either. <laughs> I'll bet you Rosie never sat on your lap like that. Look at no. that. Come on, meow, Howard. Yeah, now, Tom. In other words, until you get your divorce settlement, mm -hmm. how do you get any money? Well, but you got money coming in from yeah, True Lies, yeah, right? I, I mean, mean, you got cash. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of. Um, I, I'm sure that the, the divorce settlement, everything will be satisfactory for everybody. There's enough to go around. Everybody's but let happy. Me ask I'm you happy. Something. Let me you tell you something. Did you have your own bank account? Yes, of course. Okay. I mean, because uh, you did get money from your from being, producer. Dude, well, yeah, you make a lot of money. I had my show, show my right. last show. You make a lot. I made a lot of money. Yeah, I'm, I'm very happy. Yeah. He had. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the bottom line. He probably had two or three million in his own bank account. Okay. But after the divorce settlement, I will say conservatively, you will be worth fifty to sixty million dollars. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you why. There's no way around it. Roseanne can sit and squirm all she wants and talk about, hey, Tom beat me and all this kind of stuff, which I don't even believe. No. I don't believe that. I wouldn't believe well, it. Well, why would she, you know, all you have to do, as I said, is pull out those old Oprah tapes. Where she's telling everybody that you're her savior, yeah, her biggest and then you support got a mate. system. Uh, what is that? Did you well, get the old Oprah tapes? Um, uh, yeah, I got the old Oprah tapes. <laughs> Sally, Jesse, I got them all. You got yeah. them all. Yeah. I, I think that, you know what, you know, when people get divorced, it's so emotional because, you know, you love somebody and then the next day they aren't going to be there or whatever. That sometimes you do stuff that you wouldn't normally do because that love hate thing is such a fine line. You yeah, know? believe me, I see the the girls who are comforting you now. I wouldn't miss oh, her too much. Who is that girl? That yeah. Girl uh, now that's pretty. Where's she? Is she here with you today? Let me get a look yeah, at her. She's here. Is she really? Is she She's, really? Yeah. Is she really? Oh, oh. Yeah. oh jackpot. Oh, jackpot. That's not her. That's Gary. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I was going to say she looks like Gary. <laughs> a little Ooh. hairy. Tom likes him hairy. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> let, me t let me tell you something. Now you're going to have some life. Now your life begins. Mm -hmm. You've got an acting career. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to screw with TV anymore. Mm -hmm. You've got a film career. Mm -hmm. You could make... You had a little adversity. Yeah. You had some adversity. A little adversity. bit here and there. All right. Hey, so yeah. what? That's right. So what? Now it's all uphill. Right. You've got money. You've got enough money for the mm -hmm. rest of your life. Mm -hmm. I don't see... Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you. How are you? Okay. Good morning. Julie is from the Hi, Midwest. Julie. She's just... Julie, I love a belly shirt. That is the <laughs> best thing you can wear. <laughs> that is the best thing you can wear. All right. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, my publicist is happy to have her. <laughs> Your name is Julie? Yes. How old are you? 21. Oh. Wow! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but she's an old 21. <laughs> right, Howard. I, I met her at uh, uh, David Spade, you know, from Saturday Night Live. Yes. Him, he had his birthday party about a month ago, and he said, come down here and uh, to the Viper Room. You know, great place. And come down here, I'm having my party. And, the, and the, so I get down there, and he goes, it was all guys. It was Chris Farley and all just guys. And he goes, wait right. a minute, because the playmates are coming. Yeah. So I said, okay. So then they come, and they're real nice and everything. Some of them are drunk. Some of them are funny. Some of them are smart. Some are whatever. Right. But I noticed that somebody kind of stood out a little bit, and, and, uh, and, and it was Julie. And she wasn't a playmate. So I talked to her, and I found out she was visiting her brother from Michigan. Yes. Her brother's a comic. And that she, you know, and I said, well, uh, would you like to go out on a date with me yes. in, in a week? Yes. And she did. And because uh, right. she's going to be a school teacher next this, next year. Is that right? Second grade. That's a nice, it's a good person. Well, wait a second. So, 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 you, so what, you guys met at the, some, at the Viper Room. Right. And uh, now you're going to go be a teacher somewhere. But well, did your parents meet Tom yet? No. I mean, wait till they, wait till they find out you're dating an older guy. You know what <laughs> no, I mean? They, they know now. They do know? Are they pissed off? Uh, no. Her dad wanted to come out and get her. Right away. He's going to get, get away from that guy. But um, it must be great waking up next to her. I mean, you know what I'm saying? 21 she's years She's really old. a nice person. She's from. She's very grounded and she's very, you know, she... Uh, but you're not going to rush to get married or anything again. Uh, right? Well, you know, I'm still... I'm not divorced yet. Yeah, I think so it would be bad to rush to get married. That's the only stopping him, though. I can't believe it. So, you and Tom have a lot in common and stuff? Yes, as a matter of fact, we do. And is he always is he always screaming about Roseanne and everything too? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
He didn't even care. <laughs> I don't even think you think about well, it. Well, you were actually the one who was trying to patch up the marriage there for yeah. a while. I uh, did everything humanly possible. I know you tried. You went yeah. down there. You tried to mm -hmm. reason with him. Ah, forget it. Mm -hmm. Well, you, what you, happened? You, what do you think happened to the marriage? Uh, well, it, I'll I, tell you exactly what happened. Oh, okay. to Howard, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tom got sick of Roseanne. No. Oh, here we go. That's exactly no. it. You started dating other girls. No, that's not what happened. Really? No. Um, I, um, I, I'm not sure exactly what was the, you know, it, it, the marriage, you know, in all marriages, we had a lot of stress and, and, you know, it was so public and everything. And we're both in the same business and, and, you know, one thing leads to another and, and then it gets just, there's just too much. And I, I worked so hard this last year. I was gone a lot doing this movie and that made it hard. And I, and then I was doing my show at the same time and I was doing too much and I, you know, I wasn't there enough to work on the marriage. So, um, that that's my responsibility within this. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Who are you kidding? Yeah, yeah you're true. talking to me now. True. What are you crazy? You really would have liked to see it last. Not I would have. Sure. No way. No, as soon as a guy gets financial independence, <laughs> <laughs> starts to think about. You're making Tom sweaty. So <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Let's take your shirt off, man. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as a guy gets financial independence, which Tom has, mm -hmm. this is my beat on it. Yeah. Look, you got financial independence. Mm -hmm. You start to look around at Hollywood. You're exposed to beautiful women on the set every day. You know, you, you haven't been on my set. Yeah, but come on, you know what I'm talking about. Well, you, there's, you know what? There's assistants. There's all kinds. Uh, you got, you got Julie over well, here. Well, Julie, Julie is is, Reese, is new. I met Julie's Julie after her hot body on. All right, so she's, she's very nice. That Kim Silva. Yeah, what, what about, about her? Kim? You Kim got is, her too, right? Well, no, Kim is. Uh, you Kim, had her. Kim is in <laughs> is Tom? moving to Hong Kong to work for Planet Hollywood as a PR person, oh, really? and I wish her the best. Kim's a great person. She right. is an absolutely. So you're not with her anymore. Friend. <laughs> what do you mean with her, Howard? You're not, you're, not, you, you're not working with her anymore. You're right, right. But I'd like to sometime when I get back to, to producing television shows. Right. But she's, she's great. Kim is great. And Kim took a lot of flack from everybody, and she's a very nice person. Well, what about that three-way marriage deal? Well, you know what? Last year, I was out in Washington, D.C. doing I'm a I'm trying to get that going for me. <laughs> and, and Arnold, yeah. Arnold will tell you this is true. Uh, Rosie came out with Kim, and they, and they were, you know, uh, hanging around the set. And they said, listen, we want to have a three-way marriage. It's going to be so funny because all Kim's friends are getting married. And so we'll do it. And I said, hey. Just don't tell anybody that, because if people find out, it's going to be a huge thing. And and she said, oh, you know, I'll tell whoever I want to tell. I, nobody can tell me what to do. Well, anyway, oh, <laughs> it became a huge thing, as we all, all right. know. And, uh, you know, one thing led to another. And uh, sometimes you come up with good ideas, like maybe um, so maybe maybe Rosie came up with an idea she thought would be funny, and then the way everybody reacted to it made her might have made her feel like maybe this wasn't a good idea. And uh, and then maybe uh, I should be mad at Tom. I mean, I, I so I assume that right. that would be. But you know, she, it, it was it was fun, and Rosie is, is very fun, and she's very sweet. Person. I'll bet you Rosie never sat on your lap like that. Oh. Look at that! Oh, Come on, be now, Howard. There are any chairs in here? It's the only place to sit. It's Gary on my lap, by the way. <laughs> that, I mean, that's unbelievable. <laughs> it's hard to start off a marriage. It's like saying, uh, "I really love you, you thieving bitch." You know? <laughs> I would think being married to Rosie was like a prison sentence, and now you're a free man. I'm no. serious. I'm serious. No. It was great. It was a great, you know, we were It was good a good role, sometimes. and that was it. No, it was well, great. wait a minute. I've never, you know. the end there, I started to hear stories about how you did have to have a separate place to be because well, Rosie was so... No, no, no. no. Off See, the wall? It, yeah. You never, in no, no divorce is because of one person. It's always 50-50 in, in any trouble. But I'm just saying, wasn't she, she go off, right? Well, uh... Um, I had an apartment where I used to work with writers yeah, because she Rosie, like to work at home. Rosie has a history of mental illness. Well, you can't, and she had 27 personalities, right, Tom? Right. Then she, she comes with this personality thing, and you don't know who you're coming home to. Yeah, one well, day okay, it's but, that, but that, isn't woman. that women in general? No. That, oh, <laughs> come on. Which women are you dating? Okay, Julie, how many personalities do you have? <laughs> She's young. She hasn't developed that. Much. <laughs> yeah. She only has three personalities. Exactly. She's You'll see. If you stay with Tom, you're going to have 47 different personalities. <laughs> Well, you know, Rosie's life has had a tough life. Listen, and totally. Oh, but let me ask you something. Yeah. When, when she started remembering stuff that happened to her when she was six months old, you believe that? Absolutely. You really do. Absolutely. It's impossible to no, remember. It's not. It's How not. can you remember six months, six months well, old, Tom? You don't remember anything at six months old. I don't. I don't remember anything because nothing. Uh, I, I don't remember anything. But uh, but you know what? It is possible. <laughs> you don't want to remember the last couple of years. Yeah, but it's possible. And it you, is, know, you I, totally I, bought it. Oh yeah. Because I would think a guy who like you know you'd been around and she had the twenty-seven personalities and you were going crazy, you had to go into another apartment just to get away every once in a while. Uh -huh. You would say, hey, you know. You know, how can you? I don't remember six months ago. I hey, mean, and well, when she starts making all these allegations about you, too. Well, you know, it, hey, you know, sometimes a, a lot of those aren't people true. Make, people say things that aren't, that are more, uh, 
you know, that Painful. are, you know, you, let's put it this way. Sometimes you get like a lot of lawyers around you. And they position. And they position themselves and then they end up, I mean, uh, make it, they end up convincing you to do stuff that normally you wouldn't do. Right. And, I, and I think that in the end, everything will be resolved. Everything will be taken care of and everything right. will be fine. So you only have nice things to say. That's a smart yeah. way to play. Well, I, mean, I play well, it the same way. That is the only thing I have to say is nice. I mean, I loved her. You right. know, I'm sorry it didn't work out. Right. You know, I gave it my best and, uh, and you know, that it. wasn't good enough. Hmm. So, hey. hey, next time. Right, yeah. Julie? Right, Julie? Oh, uh, look what you're getting into, Julie. Oh, man. Uh, things will work out fine yeah. with Julie. Yeah, they will. Uh, Julie's fine. She's That's nice. a, no, no problem. She's nice. Oh, man. So would you guys stay at a hotel last night? Yeah, we stayed at the Ritz-Carlton. Oh, two bedrooms. Yes. Really. Ritz-Carlton. Two bedrooms? Mm -hmm. Why? Because, um, because... Uh, you mean you and Julie haven't slept together yet? Uh, we have two bedrooms at the hotel. <laughs> they don't I didn't want to scare her. Right, right. I didn't right. want to scare her. This, you know. well, Julie's of age. I mean, you know. It's a, I know, but... You is know, Tom your first boyfriend? My first boyfriend? No. no. But he was your first, though, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. True? True, Tom? Uh, yeah, I was her first. You were? Yes. She was uh, mine, too. Really? <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. I can't believe Ooh, the prize. You are the prize. Oh, she's nice. Oh, I, I, may I have a date with you? <laughs> now, for the rest of the interview, can you sit on my lap? <laughs> yeah. That's not right. <laughs> so, Tom, let me get mm -hmm. this straight. Okay. So, here you are. Your guy comes out of Iowa. Mm -hmm. And you meet Rosie, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, on the comedy circuit. Yeah. Start writing some stuff for her. Yep. She, so right there, there's your claim to 50%. He's writing material for her. <laughs> All right. Boom, okay. I didn't know you need, about that Did you part? need more? You need more proof? Start writing some material for her, doing the whole thing. Yeah. But didn't he get paid for that? I mean, he wasn't married, so he doesn't get that 50%. So here's the deal, Robin. I know you're very concerned about this. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't want it. You know what? I'm not going to... Something can be worked out that's not 50 percent or 40 percent right. or anything like that. Did you sign I'll be a totally prenuptial happy with. agreement? You no, never signed any prenup. No, okay. he was Nobody. I would never make anybody do that either. No, mm -hmm. he so wouldn't Julie, do something like if that. If he puts a piece of paper in front of you, oh, you I would not do that. Oh, no yes, problem. you will. <laughs> hey, they don't hold up in court anyway. <laughs> well, yes, the they do. Yes, they do. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. Yeah, do it. It's hard to start off a marriage. It's like saying. I really love you, you thieving bitch. <laughs> you know? Right, right, right. Yeah, but you got to. You know, your lawyer will make it. You don't want to do it. My lawyer can't make me do anything. All right, so wait a second. Julie, you're going to have to sign. But sorry. Be she won't. If, 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 you know, that's a hypothetical that she would want to marry me. And, you know, uh, you know like I, I'm still married, Howard. You know? Well, yeah. Well, let's see what happens. I mean, it's, yeah. So wait a second. So then you come up on the outside, you meet Roseanne, she's, you know, you know you're not in love with her right away. It's not a thing that you're. We hit it off right away. We were very good friends. Immediately? Good yes. friends, but First not lovers. Day. Not lovers, no. But but did you secretly love her for a long time? I guess I probably did. No kidding. Yeah. See, because your taste of women have drastically changed. You well, know? you know what? I never met anybody like her before, Rosie before. Right. I never met anybody like Julie before either. Right. You know, and uh, <laughs> Tom knows how to play. You know, it was it was more right, of an adult right. uh, a relationship. It was an adult relationship for All me. All right. So now you got a bachelor pad. Yes. And nice place. Yeah. You own or you rent? Uh, lease to buy. Lease to buy. Yeah, it's yeah. a house? Yes. Oh, it's a, and now it's, you set up the house the way you want it. Yeah. You buy yourself. Right. And whoever you invite, you got a pool? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's a nice And Julie, you sit here. by the pool, like in your swimsuits and stuff? Yeah, she does. Yeah? What do you wear, a thong? No. No? <laughs> Not for me, no. 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 See? Bikini? <laughs> Bikini? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> This time, give you an allowance to just decorate the whole place? Like, just go, go out, honey, and decorate? My this? mom is out there yeah. decorating the place. Is she really? She's insane. Really? Yeah. She's out there. And, like, you put cool stuff in, like computers and, uh, I'm like, putting, like, all male stuff? Yeah, I changed all. It was pink, sort of, before. And, like, now it's, like, like black granite and, and steel. And, and dark green. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> big penises everywhere. Yeah, right. Just big phallic symbols all, all over the place. Stuff. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who's your mom like more, Rosie or Julie? Uh, Julie. She, you know what? My parents are, are the kind, you know, there's seven kids in my family. have been a lot of divorces. They don't get in between. They have supported Rosie. They've supported me. They are because they want to see their grandkids, my stepkids. Right. So they, Rosie's called them and talked to them and they, they won't, they aren't the kind that kind of take sides. Really? So, so I hate them. Well, you, yeah. <laughs> I bet Rosie has a Julie doll and puts pins in it every day. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Killing Rosie that you're doing so well? It's no. got to be killing her. Oh, it is I'm killing sure. her. Oh, I'm sure she's very happy for me. Rosie is. 
you ready know, to slash her wrist. No, you know what this is? This is vindication for her because she yeah. always said he was very no. talented. That's right. I know. You she know, would love for him to fall flat on his ass. You, come on, Robin, be a woman for a oh, second. Oh, come on. It's I'm for sure. her, I'm sure she says, you see, I told everybody he was a mm-hmm. talented guy, and now look, he's Yeah, talented. and then she's saying, yeah, and, I, and then everyone told me he would dump me, and now he's dumped me. Well, that's well, I didn't dump her. You're yeah. <laughs> right. No, you dumped her. I got her. dumped. You've I, been no, dating. No, no, I had never dated really? in our marriage. Absolutely not. Seriously? Absolutely. You were totally faithful? Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah, well, all right, all right, take it That's easy. Nice. All, right, <laughs> Sorry. all right, calm down, man. But, uh, you know what, she, I'm sure she's very happy for me. There's probably I bet Rosie has this. a Julie doll and puts pins in it every <laughs> day. Oh, oh yes. Oh, she's, you, oh, she, you know, Rosie has a boyfriend. That's I mean, she, right, she's Rosie. Everything. Oh, yeah, did you see that guy? What did you think of I, that guy? Well, I, I hired him. Right? He's the bodyguard. You hired that guy? Yeah. But don't, are you mad at him? No. Don't I you? was for a minute, too. Yeah. Why would you hire such a good-looking guy? To you be think a... he's a good-looking guy? Yeah, he's, like a, he's like a stud. He's like a handsome guy. Really? Yeah. yeah. Really. Have you seen this? You haven't seen this guy. Yeah, he's like he's a, a really he's a nice guy, and he's good for her. And he's protecting her. Do you her. think he's after Rosie's money? No. I don't think I, I don't absolutely not. You think he really loves he's, her? He's in his twenties too. Really? You know? He's a young guy. All right. And uh, yeah, I think I'm sure he does. Well, she's well, lovable. Why? Well, who wouldn't? I don't know. That guy is going to get half of Rosie's half. Oh, boy. After, I'm telling you. And yeah, him and Julie will get together. Yeah, right. With the, and he'll both be finished. <laughs> exactly. That'll be the end of it. That half will keep going down. There'll be nothing yeah. left. Yeah. No, Tom's going to be smart with his half. Yeah. All right. Anyway, Tom, thanks for Thank coming. You, I really do appreciate it. Right. It was great to meet you. I really appreciate your comment. Like Howard yeah. said, it, it, was, it was nice of you to come. Yeah, it was good. I think he was really nice to me. They both worded up great. Great job, good. I'm very happy. My fellows is probably even happy. So you'll be back. Yeah, oh, yeah I'd love to. Anytime.